The Iranian Revolutionary Guard confirmed that the young Iranian scientists and specialists have worked with sincerity and acquired, within a short period, the technology of advanced targeted missiles. The arms commander of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard's brigadier, General Amir Ali Haji Zadeh, said that these new guided missiles will greatly improve the IRGC's capabilities in the field. The combination of departments of specializations in the defense industries sector has contributed to great achievements and you can remove obstacles and break the restrictions imposed on progress and development by engaging in various specialized sectors related to," he continued. The Iranian Revolutionary Guards announced, last week, that the Tabas and Mursid systems had been able to destroy air targets with complete success. The Iranian Tasnim Agency said, on the second day of the joint 97 state war games of air defense between the Islamic Revolutionary Guard units and the Army of the Islamic Republic of Iran, the Shalamja surface to air missiles struck the enemy's virtual targets and they were completely destroyed. The Revolutionary Guard's mid-range TPS missile system also tested its readiness during the maneuvers by launching missiles towards targets, which destroyed the virtual enemy targets. Iran has been domestically producing new missiles, despite warnings from the US and its allies about their ballistic arsenal. How does Iran equip its proxies and allies with increasingly sophisticated and longer-range ballistic missiles and artillery rockets? Fabian Hinz considers Iran's new missile proliferation strategy. The proliferation of ballistic missiles and artillery rockets to non-state actors by the Islamic Republic of Iran is a constant source of tension in the Middle East. Yemen's Houthi rebels conduct ballistic missile strikes on Saudi Arabian cities, airports and oil installations. Hezbollah's ever-growing rocket and missile arsenal sparks Israeli consideration of military options, and Iranian proxies rocket the United States installations in Iraq on an almost weekly basis. But how does Iran equip its proxies and allies with increasingly sophisticated and longer-range ballistic missiles and artillery rockets? For years, the answer has been through smuggling. In one example, on 19 March 2021 Saudi Minister of State for Foreign Affairs Adel al-Juber claimed that all Houthi missiles fired at the kingdom were made in Iran, and there is ample evidence that Houthis were the recipients of weapons such as Iran's short-range Qayyim ballistic missile. Iran doubtlessly continues to directly transfer missiles outside its borders to some degree. However, in recent years smuggling has been augmented by two other transfer methods, the provision of guidance kits to modify existing stockpiles of artillery rockets, and the whole-scale provision of manufacturing capabilities. Iranian support for enabling local rocket production is not new. Reports about the rocket arsenals of Palestinian factions in Gaza regularly cite Iranian assistance for domestic manufacturing, and Hezbollah's alleged missile factory in the Beka Valley became the topic of competing accusations in the Israeli-Hezbollah relationship. However, closer examination of Iranian sources, documents likely leaked by Israeli intelligence, and the missiles unveiled by the Houthis, reveal a strategy of empowering Iranian proxies that is more comprehensive than previously thought. In cooperation with Iran's missile industry, the Quds Force QF, of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, appears intent on enabling all its main proxies to be able to autonomously manufacture artillery rockets and precision-guided missiles. Also, a special development effort seems to be aimed at creating simple artillery rockets and short-range missile systems and production units custom-tailored for local production. A defense intelligence agency study released November 19, 2019, found that Iran has the largest missile force in the Middle East, and the size and sophistication of its missile force continues to grow despite decades of counterproliferation efforts aimed at curbing its advancement.
The report said Iran has missiles that have a range of 1,250 miles, which could reach Israel or Saudi Arabia. Lacking a modern air force, Iran has embraced ballistic missiles as a long-range strike capability to dissuade its adversaries in the region, particularly the United States, Israel and Saudi Arabia, from attacking Iran, the report said, AFP, November 19, 2019. In December 2019, France, Germany and the United Kingdom urged UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres to inform the Security Council that Iran's developments of nuclear-capable ballistic missiles violates Resolution 2231 urging Iran not to undertake any activity related to ballistic missiles designed to be capable of delivering nuclear weapons, AP, December 4, 2019.